If you want to size fonts in CSS, you're going to need to use REMs and EMs. So an EM is just going to scale based on the current font size, while an REM scales off of the root font size. So in our example, we have a normal container where the font size never changed. So an REM and an EM are exactly the same size. While this large container down here, we manually set the font size to 30 pixels. So now one REM is going to be the same size no matter where it is because it's based on the root font size, while an EM is based on the current font size. So this one EM is the equivalent of 30 pixels since that's what we set as the large container font size. And the important thing to note is you can even change the font size for your root. So if you change your HTML font size or your root font size, that's going to change your REM size. So now one REM is equivalent to 10 pixels because we set it to 10 pixels up here. Now when you want to use EMs is when you're going to be sizing things based on the font. So like the padding of a button, EMs are perfect to use there. But generally when you're going to be doing any other sizing, REMs are going to be the preferred unit because it makes spacing out things a lot easier.